what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my new tutorial video so this tutorial we're gonna see how to create this cinematic color grading in premiere pro indoor scene yes so before we jump on guys please make sure you have been make subscribe in order to get more notification video about editing premiere pro the vint resolve and after effect and then let's get a jump on it and let's see how it is this is how my clip it is okay it is in s log okay it is in indoor okay it's a close up yeah something like that all right so the things i have to do and i'm going to give them the color okay here i'm gonna use these lumetric settings only okay so now let me press here on this footage now here there is some lumetric color settings okay that's the setting which i'm going to use only guys okay as i told you this is an s log of footage okay so and uh, i'm gonna use this basic correction for starting look seems like rec 709 okay so let me try to extend this program monitor something like this okay now here i'm gonna watch well my clip okay so let me start increasing by exposure okay let me just give them the enough light okay and let me give them the contrast yes something like this guys okay yeah the full contrast okay and let me just give them like shadow something like this and increase the highlight okay of this subject okay and then i'm gonna give them like a few saturation that's a few saturation like these guys yeah maybe this is enough okay so this is before and then this is after all right so let me just close basic correction okay and let me open up this creative so about this creative i like this creative because it brings or it gives this clip into sharpness okay when i try to increase this sharpness you see how my clip it is when you try to decrease this sharpness okay you see this clip it looks like some clip which has like a blur but when you increase it now it gives them like some every details okay now you see every details okay so now let me come back here on this fit uh, let me just give them like the small vibrance yeah this is nice all right and this intensity all right so close this creative and then let me open up these curves so about these curves yes i'm gonna give them like thick okay give them like thick by using these three dots okay this top it is highlight middle one it is midi tone the bottom one it is shadow okay so i try to balance all those three points something like this and move down this shadow yeah you see how it is yeah this is much better you see how it is okay this is looks nice all right okay this one guys as you see you see how this skin tone it is this skin tone is not looking good as all okay that's the reason why i have to come here on these hoovers who cause these hoovers who it helps you to change one color to another all right okay so the things i have to do i have to pick this icon and then let me just select the skin tone now when you select the skin tone then you try to change into other skin tone color something like that okay but yes you can use this point but let me try to select this color where my skin tone it is located okay and then i have to move it up a few little bit okay even in this red yellow now you see how the skin tone is looking yeah this is much better now you see how my skin tone is okay and then i have to select this skin tone on this whole versat and i increase the a small saturation of it yeah this is much better guys okay and then here too when you come here for this hoover sluma and when you select the skin tone 
and then when you move down you see how the skin tone is gonna be it's gonna be yes strong or thick you see guys okay this is much better and then let me just close this curve guys be, uh, guys before i close these curves when you have another color for example like this green you can just select the green also you increase the size of this or you increase the saturation of this green something like that and then also if you just want to change any color of this green you can see guys how this color it is changing okay but let me eat let me let it, uh, let me just fix this green okay so let me just cross this curve and uh, let me open up these colorways okay so guys i give them i'm gonna give them the cinematic look you see how this shadow it is it is black but in this black i just want to add like a few color okay like green or blue okay that's the reason why i have to come back here to these colorways in this shadow first let me move it down in order to give them the pure black okay let me give them the pure black you have to move down something like this and then here you're gonna add any color you want so let me just add like a blue you see guys how this clip is gonna be look okay give them like blue yeah this is much better you said this is before and then this is after how it is looking this is nice okay so about the midi tone i have to give them midi tone in this brown between yellow and red okay in order to prevent this this skin tone all right and then let me just give the highlight into green in order to get this cinematic look okay yeah this is nice one so close these color wheels and open up this hcl secondary and let me just select this skin now i got the pure skin guys you see how it is okay make sure you select it well yeah something like this guys okay yeah this is nice this is nice and then increase this blur noise all right yeah this is nice and then here is where you can increase the the skin color okay you see guys and then here i have to give them the light about this skin yeah this is good one okay this is looks nice okay now here there is before here there is before and then here there is after okay so guys let me just create an adjustment layer to give them okay to give this green color the pure one okay i have to drag it here on this top of this clip and also and i'm going to use this hcls secondary okay so i have to choose green because i just want this jacket and then make sure you select this green well you see guys i have to select this green well as possible guys okay yeah this green and then smooth it something like this and then come back here for this color gray and then when i enable or when i increase the green about this color you see how now this green how it is looking and make sure this blood it is enough okay you have to increase like eight to nine okay now when you play guys you see how this green this is looks nice guys okay and then when i play my creep now you see how it is so about this second one too here there is no color guys okay so let me try to copy this color geometry color control press c for copy and then let me just come here to paste it here and then i extend this adjustment layer to get this green of this jacket wow now you see how this clip it is this is looks much better guys okay all right so this is how i color grade my scene my clip 
and if this video is very helpful to you guys please don't forget to make subscribe i know okay and like share just comment down and let me know what do you think so let's meet in next video okay nice one peace